Hey, you my man, I got next. Huh? Hey, you my man, I got next. You said you want next? Nah, I said, I have a good time with the best. You the best. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, we're doing it. Hey, hey, hey. Only See how they're trying to normalize this function? How they're trying to normalize immorality? They steady promoting this nonsense with these freaks. Jesus Christ. For all you guys wondering why this whole Adam 22 and his wife porn star stuff has been all over the news, there's a reason for everything. Whatever you see in the mainstream media is always approved by the higher ups. It's more to do with what the men, the up-and-coming younger people, what they see as masculine. They're reversing the role. So, strong masculine male characters now, male figures now, are being destroyed systematically. And someone like Adam-22 is being exalted. This is what they want young boys to look up to. A cock. Someone lets his wife sleep with other, with other men. This is what they want boys to aspire to be. You ever wonder why all this drag queen stuff and all this sexualiz sexualization of children are mainly focused on the little boys? You want, you, you want to know why? Because women don't lead revolutions. Men do. So systematically destroy how a young man sees, sees himself and he's going to grow up into someone like an Adam 22. This is who they want. Your kids, your boys to be when they grow up. This is front page news in the Daily Mail. YouTuber Adam22 gifts his porn star wife a $400,000 lime green Lamborghini after she filmed a sex scene with another man who she said was better in bed than her husband. This is an abomination everywhere else in the world. But they're trying to normalize behavior like this. You, hide your kids. Hide your little boys especially. The 38-year-old said he was so proud of his queen for doing the X-rated scene. Are you, are you mad? The thing you see as outrageous in all the cultures, they're trying to normalize here. They're social engineering us. And it's so obvious. If you still think everyone that talks about this is just a tinfoil hat conspiracy nut job, you are crazy. Are you serious? The YouTuber gifted his porn star wife, Lena the Plug, a $400,000 Lamborghini after she filmed the sex scene with another man whom she claimed was better in bed than her spouse. Adam, who's 39, who hosts the podcast No Jumper or whatever, and his wife, who's 32, have come under fire in recent weeks after Adam insisted that the sex scene was amazing for their business, while Lena noted that she was left in pains for days from having sex with a man whose penis was bigger than her husband. You see, this is this is a humiliation ritual. They, they <laughs> oh, Lord. This stems way back from the Babylonian mystery school system, which the West, mainly America, still participate in till today. That's why they're going to put this all over the news, put this everywhere. All right? And the other man who they involved in their relationship, the other porn star, the black guy, Jason Love, 38 years old, added fuel to the fire when he came forward and claimed that he obviously effed Lena better than Adam did. All right? They displaying cuckolding right in front of everybody. And these people have kids, yo. This Adam, whatever, and his wife, they've got a daughter. This is this is not this is not normal. No matter how they try to normalize it, this is not normal. But we've, we've so been pacified right from secondary school, not even high school now, even now lowest primary school. They've been programming us and pacifying us, especially I'm gonna say this now. Don't bite my head off. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Especially the Caucasian male. There's a war on masculinity, but most of all, there's a war on the white male. Right? Every recent revolution have been initiated by the white male. 
let's face it, we've been conquered. The minority, the people of colored black people, we've been conquered. They push this victim mentality on us, which is like, oh, well, whatever, just take the whole shit. I don't give a fuck no more. But these white men are going to fight for what's, what they feel is rightfully theirs and when they feel the family structure and all that has been threatened. So what do they do? Right from time, the, eight, the 1800s to the early 1900s, all pushing the rulership, conquering colonization mentality on the white males especially, and the women were, were right behind them, right? And then from the 30s and the 40s onwards, they started pushing this whole white guilt stuff on them because they're trying to social engineer their society, right? So now, it gets to the point now where they're so pacified now, they've been brainwashed for nearly 100 years now, they see all this as normal. See, pole, pole dancing on Pride March with little boys they would have been a revolution a long time ago before all this gets to this point. But we've been pacified so much, especially the Caucasian males. They want you to hate them. They want us to always hate each other. Oh, you were enslaved by these people. These people enslaved you. People... I'm not enslaved. Ain't nobody can enslave me. What are you talking about? I'll burn the whole shit down. So, look at from the era of the, the Clint Eastwood, John Wayne, and all these people. Sim symbology, symbolism is very, very, very powerful. In order to rebuild now to the new image that they want, I'm not talking about politicians, I'm talking about people that own the politicians, to build society into the image they want, which is kind of like the the Hunger Games kind of society. If you watch the Hunger Games, that's where they want, that's the dream of these elites. That's how they want the world to be, starting from the West. Right? Just, just stick, stick with me here. I'm <laughs> just stick with me. I'm not crazy. I promise you, I'm not crazy. I see things differently, right? Look at the superheroes now. The, from the days of the Arnold, the Silver Sister Lone, the Clint Eastwood, this, you know, solid male figures now. What do they do now? They have to destroy them. Recently, they, did, they just destroyed uh, Indiana Jones. They're destroying the male superhero figures, the main, like the male Caucasian figures. Imagine people that were brought up, probably didn't have a, a good male role model in your life. You see Sylvester Stallone on TV, big muscular guy, conquering and effing shit up. You're like, man, I want to be like that. How can I be like that? But now... No, they have to destroy them and have a little annoying, condescending woman always there belittling them because they're trying to subconsciously tell you that is your place. Stay behind the woman. Don't come forward and do nothing. Stay behind her. Every picture of an interview of any couple, especially celebrity couple, their wife is always in front. The man is always behind. Go watch this. I'm not just talking crap. They're always asking her the questions first. She's always taking the lead. They're subconsciously programming the man, especially the Caucasian man, to be behind. Let your woman lead. No society has ever been raised by a woman. I'm just saying, I'm just saying what it is. We complement each other. We have our roles. This is mad. Front page news. This is in front page news. Porn star stuff. This is front page news. Right. Look at that. That's another man plugging his wife. And it's front page news. And that's them with a picture of their daughter. They don't even like censor her face and she's right there. Imagine the life she's going to live. Right. Look at this crazy people. Look, he's giving her a Lamborghini and stuff. They look so happy and all that stuff. This is what they want you to, to aspire to be. Why, on the other hand, in the other part of the world, let me show you the Khalid times, the UAE, the Dubai and Saudi Arabia, look at their news, look at their front page news, look at this, compare that to our news here. This is the Khalid times, I recorded this a, while, a couple of days ago, right? Look at that, front page news, the UAE residents to enjoy... Three more public holidays, including one long weekend in 2023. Look at that. UAE Bank announces first winner of the DH1 million raffle prize, right? Oman bans titanium dioxide in food products. The, uh, the violators to be fined, blah, 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 blah. Look at this. You are not going to see nothing perverted on here. 
The UAE student wins the Diana Award 2023 for his social actions, humanitarian efforts, blah, 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 blah. All this are relevant to their society. None of this, let's take this advert out of there. Look at that. It comes, RTA to construct nine rest stops for trucks across Emirates amid uh, certain, uh, uh, certain heats. So you see this, right? Just regular stuff, people just living their lives, no depravity, nothing like that here. Now let's go back to the Daily Mail, right? And look at this. Sam Smith dons a white skirt and a matching tank top while taking a stroll with his boyfriend. Christian Cohen in New York. Look at look, look at this is this is our front page. <laughs> Take all this shit off. <laughs> this is this is serious. This is serious shit. We're, we're screwed. We're, we're screwed. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Look at that. This is the front page news right here. Look at that. Look, 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 look. look a grown ass man, a fat man, in women's clothing, dancing provocatively. And look, look, look at this. Look at this. Tell me we're not screwed. Come. <laughs> Man, save up, go buy a land in some secluded place in the, another part of the world and just raise goats and stuff. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs>